hello welcome so in previous video I have explained you about the integration and the connection so now in this video I will explain you about the rest of the components of OIC so now let's first discuss about the lookups so as we earlier earlier know that what is lookup why we are using lookup so in this video I have created a basic lookup for gender let me show you the lookups so how you can first create the lookup so just for creating the any lookup just create on this create button and also you can export this lookup and you can import this lookup also so here using this import button so let me just go through you the, the lookup created so here you can see that so in lookup majorly what we are doing is that we are creating using the key and value pairs so here you can see that I have created the lookup for male and female so here you can see that this is the M we have used for code and corresponding we have values and name so if we will get the value of lookup using lookup values if we will put the M we can get the male with the help of values and we can get the male person with the help of name same as for female so also if you want to add one more extra columns you can add the columns by clicking on this plus icon here uh, also if you want to add the record just click on this plus icon so in this way you can create the lookup and after the creation of the lookup just save the lookup and go back and now your lookup is ready you can use this lookup in your integration so this is all about lookups now let's talk about package so why we are using package in integration so package is mostly used to combine the integration in OIC so here you can see that we have created different different packages and that package contain integration so if you will see that the first package interface.chirag it has nine integration over it so once you will click here you can see that two integration is in active status and seven is in inactive status so while creating the integration there is option to insert the input the package name so you can input the package name over there if you will input the new package name the new package will be created if you will input the existing package name over there the integration will be map or integration will be merged in that existing package you can also export the package by clicking on this export button and you can also import the package so once you will import the package all the integration inside that package will be imported and with the connection inside that integration that used also created so this is all about package now talk about agent so what is agent and why we are using agent so in previous video I have already explained but for basic information purpose we I will explain you about the agent so once we when we our requirement is to connect with any on-premise application we require agent so while creating the connection I have so you know that how you can use agent while in connection so how you can create the agent for creating any agent we say that agent group so just click on this agent group here you can give the name of that agent agent 04 nothing else here this is the identifier you should remember this identifier because this identifier will be used to configure the agent in that on-premise application I have created separate video related to agent how you can download agent how you can create and how you can configure you can just go and watch that video in from playlist so just click on this create button this agent will be created nothing else now you have to download the connectivity agent file by clicking here download and click connectivity agent file it will download one configuration file the jar file zip file sorry you have to extract the zip file in the on-premise application and there will be one configure file you have to open the configure file and you have to mention that URL of your OIC integration and the connectivity agent identifier and that's it you have to run that connectivity agent jar file over there and that agent will be configured on that particular system and here you can you, you will be you can see the count of that agent 
so right now you can see that this is the agent and the count of this agent is 2 it means that this agent is configured in two different different systems so this is all about agent so now we have adapters so also i have explained about the adapters so here in this adapter you can see the list of adapter right what is the work of this adapter and all so with the help of adapter you can input you can configure the configuration details in connection so adapter is always used in connection without adapter you cannot create connection so whenever you will go for creating the connection they will ask for adapters and you have to select the adapters so here you can see that if you want to see the details of this adapter you can by clicking this icon you can see the details of this connection also we have this option to delete the connection or create connection so here if you will see the create connection you can create a new connection over here with the name of this <coughs> file connection right so remember adapter is always used to create the connection while creating the connection you should provide the adapter details okay now in last we have libraries so why we are using the libraries in some case we required some function to do any calculation any operation so in oic if you want to define the function you want to create the function you can create the function in libraries in a single library there can be multiple functions if we are talking about the function we are talking about the javascript function so here you, we are creating the libraries inside that libraries we are creating the functions so here you can see that this is the like created library let me edit this and let me show you so in this library you can see that we have different different functions so if you will see the first function that is add.js javascript function in this function we have two parameter that param1 and param2 both are numeric and it returns the value as return value as numeric so what while creating the package what we are sorry creating the library we are we are creating the javascript file and we are importing this javascript file here we are uploading so here you can see that for this function add.js we have this file uploaded so just click here if you want to see let me click to download it will be downloaded here let me open this function so here you can see that this function same i explain you over here this function contain two input parameter and one return value so here you can see the two input parameter and one return value so this is all about the libraries how you can create package and all fun sorry function inside the library so i will create separate video in which i will explain you everything i will create the agent i will create the library i will create the function and all so this video is specifically for basic overview of all the component so in next video i will create a basic integration <coughs> create a demo integration in which i will perform some operation so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to comment and don't forget to like this video and of course before going to leave this video don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for being here